Before installing and operating the narrow gap segmented transfer plate, it is important to review and understand the installation and operation manual. Finger guards, while common, lack the convenience of an engineered solution and can damage the belt or restrict the product flow. Follow all OSHA lockout tagout procedures before installing the narrow gap segmented transfer plate. Proper PPE must be worn to control hazards associated with conveyor maintenance. Welding is the preferred method of installation, so there must be adequate structure between the belts. Measure the interior width of the structure at the widest point where the plate will be positioned. Next, select the gauge key that properly fits in between the pulleys where the transfer plate will be installed. While fitting, keep in mind the approximate distance the transfer plate should cover, as well as the positioning relative to the crown of the pulley. Selecting the correct key is critical to the success of the transfer. Using the wrong gauge key could create material flow restriction. Once you have secured the correct key, turn the key over to find the corresponding item code. Cut the support bar 1 8 inch less than the measured internal width of the structure. Deburr file any sharp edges. Slide one segment pair onto the bar from each end and position each approximately one quarter of the total bar length from the end. Insert all the plastic segments provided on the narrow gap segmented transfer plate kit, leaving the last two aside. Insert the vertical support mount into the extruded support bar. Position the vertical support bracket into the approximate final location, no further than six inches from the end. Use the button head screws to lightly secure vertical support bracket to extruded support bar and place segmented transfer plate into transfer opening. The segmented transfer plate is designed to make contact with the belt to protect the belt from damage. When working with belts with profiled top covers, like longitudinal rib or rough top belting, the assembly should be installed within the thickness of a business card between the surface of the belt and the plate. The narrow gap STP can be welded or bolted to the structure. In this case, weld the support brackets to the conveyor structure in order to provide a firm placement of the narrow gap STP. Do not weld on the steel bracket that has direct contact with the aluminum support bar. In some cases, the width of the transfer plate will require the use of trimmed segments to accommodate the necessary width of the conveyor. In this case, you will need to cut a set of segments to the dimension that matches the gap width you are trying to cover. Measure the width and mark the set of segments by tracing a straight line across their top surface. If the gap width is greater than one and a half inches, use a table saw or tubing cutter to cut the final segments within an eighth of an inch. Once the welding operation has been completed and the temperature of the welded brackets is cool to the touch, slide the vertical plates on the mounting bar to align with the support brackets and use two bolts to hold the transfer plate assembly in place. Verify that all fasteners are properly tightened and that all installation materials and tools have been removed from the belt and the conveyor area.